welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the family dynamics legacy challenge this is i think <laughs> the ninth episode i'm just lost in track i'm sorry for that but before we start the episode make sure to hit the subscribe button and to leave a like maybe a comment too to this video now let's just before we start have a quick reminder on this generation's rules because i haven't played in such a long time so i I need to refresh my memory so what we have to do in this generation is to complete at least five gold level dinner parties we did only one master cooking and baking skills we're still working on them marry as young adult and stay happily married until death until death do us apart we're still working on that have three to four children and i'm still debating whether we have three babies or should we go and have the fourth we're now currently pregnant with baby number three so we're gonna see how things are gonna go and then we have to maintain a garden with at least 10 unique plants including a cow plant what i'm gonna do we're gonna push this part a little bit behind because we need to focus on our job our kids and our restaurant that we want to work in and then we have to complete at least three out of four levels of the aspiration and then we have to complete we can complete level five in culinary career and then we can switch and work on a restaurant we're gonna see how things are gonna go but these are the rules I just want to have a quick reminder and now we are going to go and start the episode. We're here in the white <laughs> white page family house or whatever you want to call it. Now, I have downloaded a mod. I know we just started this episode and it's going crazy, but we have our I have downloaded a mod which I supposed as I promised that we're going to have a home birth. I have never tried this mod. I just read it. Hopefully I can understand the whole instructions because my brain is, you know, just like sliding in another space or whatever. And we have bills to pay. 1K. Oh, life is really hard. Life is really kicking them from each side of their life. Now, what we can do, we have, we have, or we can call the OB. In the previous times we have tried it, we can use the surgery machine and the cesarean section oh my god i can't talk and we have a natural birth but this time we're gonna have a home birth home birth many parents contemplate home birth because they want to avoid the high-tech atmosphere and the medical interventions whatever of a hospital others prefer the freedom and ability to spend labor with loved ones if you choose to give birth at home you may call your midwife once you go and labor they will arrive at your home and assist you until your baby is delivered make sure to purchase home po home pool yeah if you are going for a home birth or a birth pillow okay if you are going for a bed birth i don't know which option we're gonna go with is it a water birth or on the bed but we're gonna see this mod it's like a cool mod i'm gonna leave the link down below if you want to check it out fiona has chosen home birth if you changed your mind you may call your ob again and choose the other methods but now let's see when we have work we have work in four hours in six hours and we have to reach level four out of four in mixology so let's just go a little bit work on this skill let's just go and tend a bar or let's just go and practice some drinks don't drink don't drink any of these drinks and we have our lovely baby who's at school let's just go and make some friends and for dad we also have to work on his career a little bit or on his job he has to write a book and reach level eight in writing skill now dad has work in three days so which is enough to work a little bit on another book or something else Carly's calling and she's like, I'm delighted you recommended I spent some time with Judith Bell. I was amused the entire time. Okay, good for you, mom. Oh, mom looks heavily pregnant. We knew in the previous episode that we we're going to have a girl and we already chose her name, which is exciting. Fiona has reached mixology level four, which is great. We can have maybe a promotion this week. We have three days off in the next few days. And it says, what an achievement. Benjamin finished writing an entire book. This book will be added to your inventory. 
for future reading enjoyment benjamin can also publish it but you know we want to publish the book so we can get a little bit of cash because this is what we currently need let's just sell it to publisher clementine has met thomas or thomas i don't know how to say this name how is our baby our baby has a very great fun hygiene is not okay dad you don't have work and dad is looking so bad and fiona's off to work i want her to work hard Clementine wants to invite her classmate Thomas and I really want maybe my future generation to fall in love with someone that they are friends from childhood it's just different than with Wisteria's story and Sims in a Bloom they have to fall in love with a friend and it's their only friend and then eventually they're gonna marry them but here I don't know who's gonna be the next heir because we're gonna have three possible heirs we're gonna see who from the three girls who's gonna be looking more like the second generation which is also a computer whiz mostly I normally go with our firstborn baby who's gonna end up being our heir but we will see maybe Sonia maybe the new baby we're gonna see Benjamin's such a great dad he is because I have played with Benjamin and I have played with hunter hunter is not a bad dad but he's so such a lazy dad but benjamin is so different i i kind of love how different we have different characters and whatnot benjamin is gonna age up in one day no way how he's gonna age up in one day this is impossible and now he is having a fear of fiona chasing on him i don't think she is that she will ever ever cheat on him she isn't the type where she's gonna go and cheat on him or just have an affair or secret affair something like that look at our nice baby but you know is thomas here where's thomas thomas is still here why don't you go and play chess with thomas Cassandra is calling and she's like, Hey Benjamin, I think Julia is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Yes, sure. So because tomorrow is Benjamin's birthday, we should go and make a dinner party in order to get all of the five gold ones oh she reached level four and mental scale actually so great so why don't we go and discuss interest with our friend and i think that we should rip okay so this child is his parents are victor fing and lily fing i was like oh i recognize this name but i just thought he's a random townie i really want to give him a makeover as i said let's just go and give him a makeover but we're just gonna go and sprinkle some cc's on him and come back okay we're back i just give him a very basic cc's but i think he looks cute we will see how things are gonna go with him but as i said we want a childhood friend that we end up with at the end of our next generation so we're gonna see but this is thomas fing with some cc on clem why don't you go and make your homework I wish that there was an option that she can just do her homework like in a very fast way and she would not really focus on what she's writing because she is a lazy sim but we will pretend that she is doing that Fiona's saying it's finally the end of Fiona's shift but she can't go home yet the cash registers short Fiona knows this wasn't her doing and has to decide to either report her co-worker or keep it quiet we still have an issue with this co-worker we are gonna report this co-worker again we are still facing the same problem that we got the previous time with the same person and I wish that we knew this person so we can meet them in person and talk to them and maybe give them a little of an advice she's here she looks very rough what we're gonna do i want them all to sleep did i just forgot sonia downstairs and she was hungry and i just like forgot about her i'm sorry baby i'm really sorry little baby why just don't you go and take yourself to sleep mom is still a bit feeling hectic she woke up now what we are gonna do today i think it's also gonna be sonia's birthday today we're gonna have a dinner party and i will only 
and why Benjamin's family side because there are going to be a lot of people and it's going to be hard to control everyone so we're going to invite them and see how things are going to go and then we're going to work we woke up really early to work on our story that we're going to manage i just made a very simple bathroom this is maybe less than simple but we just need it we need it and today we're gonna have a dinner party so it's gonna be such an obvious thing and clem is off to school i didn't get to see her we're just gonna slack off because she is the lazy sim so she's gonna do that and now baby's really hungry so why don't you come downstairs and eat this meal who i don't know who left it there cassandra is calling again and she's like guess what my date with julia went very well and someone's calling fiona okay and lab clementine science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with frightening another student we think she did it on purpose oh miss clementine we said before that fiona may be less or more strict we said she's more strict than benjamin and academic punishment seems right oh look at baby sonia oh they're hugging this is so cute but i'm just thinking about why fiona chose to be a very strict parent while benjamin is not we know that benjamin promised himself that he would always be different and he promised that he's gonna keep his family with him not just how he has experienced like his parents were separated when he got out of the house and they got they just had a very different family so he doesn't want this to happen again so he's like no i'm gonna be chill and cool with them whereas maybe fiona i would say Fiona lived with two dads. They were very gentle with her. They never yelled at her. So she's like, I have wanted... Yeah, because I know so many people there like that. So when they live in a very chill environment, they want or need sometimes a strict parent in their life. But that wasn't her case. Her case was a very with a very chill parents and now she is in level six in baking good for you she is such a great mom i'm not saying that she's a bad mom or she's trying to be a very bad mom and why you're having so many emotions she is having a mood swing from pregnancy she is having the fear of unfulfilled dreams also missing family oh does she misses her dad and she is having the fear of failure you know why she would have the fear of failure she is like doubting should i just quit my job and start my store slash restaurant what should i do she is afraid of losing her job that she is now in a very high level and then she is not going to be able to success in her restaurant so this is the case that's why she is scared a little bit uh, oh my god dad wants to go to geek con with us i'm sorry dad oh my god this would be so fun i'm really sorry dad but she misses her dad you know we're gonna invite them we just miss them a lot oh he hates writing why no sorry you said that before we're gonna say no we're just taking a break from cooking and we're talking with our dad. We're just gonna catch up on them. We're gonna let dad feel the baby. This is gonna be his third grandchild and now they're able to take a family leave we're not we're not gonna need it and benjamin is feeling kind of hard but dad is really happy and oh my god why your belly is so big let's ask dad for an advice just tell him oh my god i'm going through so many emotions and i don't feel myself i think my hormones are kicking me kicking my brain kicking my body give me advice dad he's just giving her some advices to take some rest and you know i'm i'm the worst person to give advices for pregnant women because i am i'm very experienced you know okay dad just just wanted to smash my baby's head and my baby is naked again and wandering all over the house why oh my god this baby is so hectic 
Benji, are you okay? Why you are having such a bad mood swings? Apparently, Benji was the one who's pregnant. Okay, so for now, we're just gonna go and open the store. And hopefully nobody steals our food because the last time someone, someone did. And our baby is really feeling so bad. You know, Fiona, just go quickly and read your toddler to sleep. And Benjamin is going to just enjoy his time with, I don't know what to say, a father-in-law? Mike is just having such a great, but he's feeling kind of sociable today. Just go and talk to him. We can tell him a wedding story. Oh, and someone got our cheese bread. Just talk about the memories. Oh. Clementine would love to invite Caden, but just go and talk about the wedding day and how nervous you were and how things were really cool. And Fiona didn't take this baby. This baby is so, so stubborn. Oh my gosh, she's still naked. This baby is so hard to raise. They would not want to have another baby after raising Sonia. She is so wild and hard to raise. Oh, and she's so energetic. Why don't you go and put your baby to sleep? We wanted to talk with our dads, but life is just kicking us so hard. And we want to take a nap because later we're going to invite the other side of the family. And he is... Oh, and someone bought the roast chicken and the fudge bars. Good for us. But we're just chit-chatting with our friend Caden. And meanwhile, we will do our homework and we will just write it and do it so fast and for you benjamin you want to have some fun you know what you can do you just go and take a quick nap because in a few hours we're gonna invite the family and everything was sold out we sold everything and judith came here and we have already closed our business i'm sorry babe now we can start our dinner party and it's gonna be benjamin's birthday I'm not excited about this at all. This doesn't feel so good. But now we're just going to go and plan a social event. She is. I want to have a child. Babe, you're going to have a child. How many babies do you want to have? So we're going to have a gold dinner party again. So Carly. No, not Carly. Fiona is going to be the host. And we're going to invite Carly, Utaka, James, and Katrina Page. These are the people who are going to come. And we are the caterer. And we're going to host this in our house. And now everything is ready. So what we have to do is we have to make a group meal. And thank guests for coming and listen to stereo at the same time so do we count this as a stereo and then let's just go and serve something benjamin your family's here and benjamin babes why don't you go and make your own cake because fiona is busy cooking something that's really delicious so why don't you go and make your own cake and baby oh my gosh she's naked again oh my god i don't like this baby i don't like this baby no 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 just go and sleep babes just go and sleep i don't like this baby this baby's so hard we're gonna say hi to james james looking cool i think being with the katrina caliente made him change a lot we're gonna say thanks for coming james why don't you join us in cooking katrina babe benjamin just come here and resume cooking okay babe and we are gonna go to katrina caliente and i'm still calling her katrina caliente she is not part of the calientes anymore my brain is so crashed today why don't you go and tell a joke to katrina and now we have to make a sound drink at the same oh my god all sim so we need to buy a tray or something that we can drink from it okay i'm gonna grab that carly is here too they're having such a great <gasps> she's an elder james is an elder too oh god oh god why don't you go and call to me wait how how did we do this we're all eating together and we had our second gold party what 
and we can give birth at any time and it's becoming a tradition that we can have a possibility on giving birth in the middle of dinner party so why don't you say thanks for coming mom and dad and thanks for bringing your family to here oh should we give them a makeover because um they're now part of our families Oh my god oh my god this baby why this baby so hard why she's naked again and she's stinky oh my god change diaper go babes and change her diapers like he wants to talk to his parents and this baby is preventing them from doing everything and he wants to be friendly with katrina he wants to get no to his family oh and look at fiona cleaning everything Babe, Benjamin, can you just change her diaper? She's smelling really bad. And she's naked. Like, imagine how good she's gonna smell like. Just tell them thanks for coming. I just, you know, wanted to invite you over here so we can enjoy our time together. And we're gonna go here. And he's gonna blow out the candle. Oh my god, Benjamin. Benjamin is stinky as well. But happy birthday, Benjamin. And now he is an adult. Oh my god, and now everyone's sending us some gifts. And he's proud of himself. Everyone's saying happy birthday. Yay. Benjamin has reached charisma level 6. And we got the gold medal dinner party. This is our second one. And oh my god, look at this baby. Babes, Fiona, this baby needs a shower and needs to go to sleep. Babes, give your baby a bath and put her down to sleep. And we're not gonna woohoo with him, okay? Because at this point, we're very feeling hectic and bad. We're gonna try to deal with this baby. I know that they are always neglecting their kids, but this baby is just a whole other level. Goodness sake, it's 3 a.m. and this baby refused to sleep. Can we donate this child to Vlad or to Greg or someone? Dad is gonna try again to read this toddler to sleep because she, she is really, she's real stubborn and hard. I bet after this baby and the second one, they will never have another baby. We're gonna try our best to prevent having so many babies. And he's now parenting level five. Good for you. Oh my God. Wait, someone's calling Benjamin. Oh, Nicole is calling and she's like, congratulations on your recent birthday. I think our next dinner party should be with our friends to catch up with them. He's going to go to work? No, 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 no. No, wait, wait. How can we? How can, ah! Holy cow. Let's just take a vacation day. No, no, we're not going to go to work. We're not going to go to work. I'm freaking out. She's going into labor and now we, I can't, I don't know what to do. So now we are already having Benjamin to accompany us in birth. So I just added the yoga thingy and the pillows as well as the pool. And we will see how things are going to go. Now she's breathing exercises or doing the breathing exercises. And it says here that, oh, her water was broken. Fiona's, oh my God, wait. And it says that, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What did what did you do? Holy cow. I chose home birth. I chose home birth. I chose home birth. I chose home birth. <laughs> what did you do? Why are you so stupid? Okay, it says here. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Fiona, Fiona, just stop. And it says that Fiona's water just broke and a huge amount of water came out for a second. Fiona thought that she had peed herself. And here it says contraction pain. <gasps> So this is going to be a very like natural birth because there is no medications. Oh my lord. And now we are doing breathing exercises over here. And she refused that. And my babies are here. We suppose. Oh my god. She's wearing glasses. She is so cool that. <gasps> Look at the. Oh my god. Wish that they were not wearing the glasses or this is going to be so perfect for the thumbnail. What? But look at them. He's accompanying her on her birth. Oh, breathing exercises. And still, we can't find the damned midwife. Why is she not coming? Fiona's going into labor. Prepare her. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Fiona's going to labor. 
prepare for her home birth by purchasing a birth pool or birth pillows activities such breathing taking bath or exercising on the birth ball will help her so i think now we can call the midwife yes it's going to your business babe because we don't want you to do your business on the floor again okay and then why don't you go and ask benjamin to give you a back massage and where's our oh here's our midwife okay it says that hi there my name is robinson nice to meet you i will be assisting your birth today how are you feeling rest assured you and your baby are in good hands thank you oh my god he's so sweet he cuddled her and now he's giving her a back massage oh my god this baby is not gonna go you know, Benjamin, can you call Carly to take care of this wild child after taking care of Fiona? We cannot deal with this baby anymore. This baby is just a hell. No! No! My baby's crying! No! I don't understand! My baby's crying! Save an exit! Save an exit! Yes! We didn't lose the game. We're back. We're back. Everything's fine. I was like this. Oh my God. And she decided to do her homework watching her mom go through so much pain. Babes, what are you doing? She is just like, I want to eat a cake while giving birth. And I only would love to eat the cake that's on the floor. Okay, now we're gonna go and ask her to check on the baby and ask for dilation. Oh, look at how professional is this. The baby's heart rate is slightly higher. What? Wait, 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 wait. The baby's heart rate is like slightly higher. This means they getting an adequate. You're so strong. You're doing great. Labor is... Oh, so that means that she's doing well. And again, we're giving birth with a sunset. And it's saying that's almost Sonia's birthday. She checked my dilation in the middle of the sofa. But now we are 5 centimeters dilated, babe. So why don't you go and rest again? You're 9 centimeters dilated. She's saying almost. You're 9 centimeters dilated. You're almost there. The temptation to quit will be greatest just before you are about to succeed. Hang in there. We are tired. We are awful we are having the worst day in our life now it's not because we're having a baby because we are having a baby in house at my house to be honest i don't know how a woman it like imagine that it's been 24 hours since we are trying to give birth and benjamin's off to work and now we're gonna <laughs> We need someone to be next to us. No. We need someone to be with us while giving birth. <gasps> My dad is here. We're going to ask dad. Dad, tell him that something happened and Benjamin can't be with us in our birth. He's like, she's like, dad, please, please, please. He's like, oh, I would love to be there and support you. I'm still nine centimeters. Oh, dad, dad, I'm giving birth. Didn't dad told you about this oh, no, no 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 i've been in labor for almost a day and a half it's sunset again and we still didn't have this baby <gasps> i'm fully dilated how how can how 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 wait 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 have a baby have baby have baby my husband is here! My husband is here! He's here! He's here! Go here! Go here! Go here! Doctor! Are you- Are you- Did you leave me alone to get married? And she's gonna be herself! No! Look at this interaction! <gasps> Did he just kiss her hand? Oh my god, I mean her head? No! Look at this! This is so realistic! <gasps> Am I allowed to put this on YouTube? Oh my god, we had a baby after a day and a half of being in labor and my computer crashed. Oh my god, I can't believe what the, this, this, this whole thing was. We agreed in the previous time that our baby is gonna be Saffron. Saffron White, this is our baby girl. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we didn't. We, they only told us we we're expecting a girl. No. No, 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 no! No, how did this happen? No, no, no! I'm gonna choose this baby's name. I'm not gonna do it randomly. This baby is gonna be Cyrus. Oh, 
Look at this cute interaction! And they're having this skin skin interaction! No, this is so cute! Oh, oh my god, oh my- oh my god, this is so cute! I'm just gonna leave the episode over here. I've been recording for such a long time, but like I was playing from the beginning and everything was so smooth and nice until we decided to give a home birth. Suddenly, we had twins. I swear I never expected that. I never knew about that. I still can't process any of that. Uh, this is gonna be the end of this episode and I'm gonna see you in the other one. I probably will try not and avoid this gameplay or let's play because we are having so many babies, but we're gonna see you in another episode full of screaming babies. Bye!